The Great Hurricane of 1928 was strengthening rapidly as it approached Guadeloupe in the Eastern Caribbean. 1,200 died in the onslaught of 140 mile per hour winds, but the storm's trail of death and destruction was only beginning. It was this massive, incredible storm that formed east of the Caribbean islands, moved across the islands, and then essentially stalled over Puerto Rico as a Category 5 storm. The only Category 5 on record to ever hit the island. Every building on the island was affected. But the disaster in Guadeloupe provided enough advance warning to keep Puerto Rico's death toll of 300 from being much worse. And then it took this arc up toward Florida and people in Miami were terrified because Miami had just been destroyed two years before by a massive hurricane in 1926. But on September 17, 1928, Palm Beach, not Miami, bore the full brunt of this now Category 4 giant. And if we saw it today on a satellite, we would go, oh my God, look at the size of that thing. The coastline from Pompano northward to Jupiter suffered major damage from the storm's estimated 145 mile per hour winds and 10 foot storm surge. But the real disaster unfolded as it tracked directly over Lake Okeechobee. Powerful winds blew south across the vast lake, which is about half the size of Rhode Island, generating a monstrous storm surge more than 15 feet high on the southern shore. Well, people didn't really understand that the wind over Lake Okeechobee could have this incredible effect of pushing the water of this huge lake up over the little dike at the bottom of the lake. It was the dark of night. Water up to 20 feet deep covered hundreds of square miles, flooding the towns of South Bay, Belle Glade, and Pahokee. The people there, mostly poor migrant farm workers, didn't have a chance. Then, as the hurricane moved west and wind shifted, now blowing from south to north, major flooding hit the North Shore. The second deadliest U.S. hurricane on record, the Okeechobee Hurricane of 1928, killed an estimated 2,500 people. We'll never know exactly how many. To avoid a repeat disaster, a new flood protection system, the Herbert Hoover Dyke, was constructed. Averaging 30 feet in height, it nearly encircles the entire lake. But 85 years later, it remains largely untested. Hurricane Wilma came along, put quite a bit of wind over Lake Okeechobee, but it wasn't a Category 4 hurricane with this monstrous circulation that the 1928 storm had. Maria LaRosa, The Weather Channel.